Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's episode, what I have in store for you is we're going to be pulling the crank pulley off of this 5.3 LM7. Um, this tends to be a little bit of a pain in the ass for a lot of people. And the reason being is you don't have the right tool to do it, but I happen to have that tool. You can do it without the tool, but I wouldn't recommend it. You're probably going to end up wrecking something. And if you wreck the threads on a crank snout, not good. You're going to have a pricey built machine shop or be buying a new crank. Anyway, stay away from it, try to get the tool. But anyway, I'll show you how to use it and how to get this pulley off. I'm also going to be removing the oil pan from this guy and inspecting the bottom end. So 150,000 miles on this guy's clock. I mean, who knows what's underneath there, but based on the way the top end looked, I don't expect any massive surprises. At any rate, we'll see what we get. So stay tuned, let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, you're gonna have to remove this 15 16 bolt from the crank pulley. Now, unless you wanna end up with broken tools and banged up hands like I did, I highly suggest the use of an impact gun on this bolt. So this is the specialty tool you need. It's a three claw harmonic dampener puller. Uh, top left hand corner, I'm just rigging this onto the crank pulley. There's three tabs that these claws hook onto. Essentially you pick your appropriate length shaft, stick it in the end of the bolt, rig that puller on and safely remove the pulley. a quick look at the pulley and the bolt that holds the pulley on the crank. You can see the indents I was referring to on that pulley that you hook the dampener puller to. Quick little tech tip for you here. So these have come out of my uh, junk drawer. They are corks from wine bottles. And I've obviously used them in projects in the past. That's why they're painted up. But they work perfect for plugging off these sensor holes. The diameter is ideal. So never underestimate uh, throwing stuff away, right? Junk can turn into something handy down the road. Over here, got some heavy duty duct tape for the oil filter. Um, obviously a machine service under there that mates with your oil filter. So you don't wanna go screwing that all up with any sort of abrasive. Got that taped off and trimmed up nicely. And then this is a Canadian truck, so it's got a block heater element in the block for heating it up on those cold winter days. And that right there is a foot from a stool. Again, don't ask me where I get this stuff. I just keep it in my, my junk drawer and find it always comes in handy somewhere. Okay, so inside the belly of the beast. Now I haven't popped any of these 
connecting rod caps off, but upon a high level inspection, things don't look too, too bad. Now, the one concerning point, potentially, which is making me want to possibly pop one of those connecting rods off is, we do have a lot of crud in the bottom of this oil pan. Now, keeping in mind this is a 150,000 mile motor, we should expect some crud and dirt, um, you know, kind of part of the racket here. But uh, yeah, we'll be definitely cleaning all that up um, and most likely popping a connecting rod off to, to see what things look like. At least have an inspection, right? When you're this far into something like this, you may as well check it all out. All right, guys, so I got my, my apprentice here with me, Buck. This is my boy. Um, anyway, uh, quick little review, yeah. Um, pulling that balancer, having that tool, as I mentioned, is, is key, right? It makes your life so much easier. An impact gun comes in really, really handy. Um, breaking that bolt loose just through brute strength, you're probably gonna bend and or break tools. Um, it's just, the impact gun gives it that quick hit, which, makes life so much easier um what else oil pan pretty straightforward but like i mentioned i think i'll probably pop a connecting rod off um cap off just to check at least one bearing um make sure we don't have anything sneaking up on us that might cause grief down the road um and i think that's it so for future episodes we got all the goodies we're going to be installing on this motor um obviously the paint job Got to clean up everything that we took off of it, paint it. Um, got to get under the hood and start cleaning under there. That's a bit of a daunting task, that one. Um, but yeah, that's what's coming up. So stay tuned. Um, as always, guys, questions and comments always welcome. Please feel free. Hit me up below. And until next time, take care, guys. Bye for now.